This is AS Pure Notes. We are on Unit 9 Logarithms and we're on then to exponential growth and decay. So the population of a country or a culture of bacteria will usually grow exponentially. The temperature of a cooling liquid or the mass of a decaying radioactive material will decrease exponentially. So that would then would be this one then instead. Graphically, exponential growth produces a positive exponential curve and the exponential decay produces a negative exponential curve. And again, if we kind of look then at some of the mass, so this curve would have an equation then, P equals AE to the KT. So what am I doing here? If we're going to try and get the T bit on its own here by doing a wee bit of rearranging. So I'm going to divide by A, first of all. Then I'm going to take logs of both sides. Now, because we have an E there, if I take the natural log, which is my ln function, then I'm going to have that. So ln, p over a, is ln e to the kt. Remember, rules of logs, that we can do, bring that kt then to the front. So kt to the ln e. ln e, try it in your calculator, those are the inverse of each other. It's nearly like finding the square root and then squaring something. They kind of cancel each other out. So ln e is just 1. It's effectively log to the base e of e. So what power do I raise e to to get e? It's of course going to be 1. And so then my kt is all of the left here and that equals ln p over a. kt equals ln p over a and then the t is 1 over k ln p over a. I'm not going to run through this other one here. It's just a very kind of similar um, example with just a negative in there. And you don't necessarily need a negative as well. You can kind of work um, without it as you work your way through. Let's take a look at the um, our example here. Uh, it's a fairly long one, so let's see. Newton's law of cooling states that for any liquid, theta equals AE to the minus KT. So it's a minus because it's cooling down, where theta is the excess temperature and T is the time in minutes. Given that a room with constant temperature 15 degrees C at time zero, at the water temperature is 100 degrees C, and at time 30, the temperature of the water is 40. Find the temperature of the water at time 10 minutes, 45 minutes. Find the time when the water temperature is at. So we have an awful lot of setup here to do to find your A under K. Once we find that, then we'll know our equation and we can work then from there. So hang in there. Uh, so we have theta equals AE to the minus KT. To find theta, We first need to know A and K. So we know that when T equals zero, theta is 100 take away 15. So what am I doing there? What they've said is excess temperature. Obviously this 100 degrees, it's, say you have a cup of boiling water, it just cools down and cools down. How low is it going to go? It's not going to go down to 15. It's not going to go below the room temperature. That wouldn't make sense. So the theta here is our excess temperature. So how much higher is this than 15? So it's obviously then 100 take away 15. And that gives us 85 degrees C. Therefore, 85 equals AE to the minus K upon zero. Do you see what I've done? I've taken this equation here and I've substituted in my theta, which is 85, and my T is zero, because at time zero, theta then is 85. E to the power of zero, doesn't give you zero, it gives you one, of course. So that means our A is 85. So we're up and running. The other piece of information we know is that whenever t is 30, then theta is 40 minus 15. So theta then is 25 degrees C. And this one's more awkward to work out, but that's okay. 25 equals A, E to the minus k upon 30. Again, do you see what I've done? I've just, I've taken this formula and I've subbed in my 25 and I've subbed in my 30 minutes. So I also know that 25 is equal A we've worked out. So it's 85 E to the minus 30 K. I'm now going to divide my 25 by my 85 equals E to the minus 30 
Okay, now, do you see what I'm doing here? I'm effectively working my way through this, only with actual numbers. This is what we kind of talked about earlier in the video. Uh, going to take logs in of both sides, as we did the last time. And remember, it's natural log, so it's ln 25 over 85 equals ln e to the minus 30k. That gives me ln. 25 over 85, which is minus 30k LNE. LNE is, of course, just 1, so I end up with LN25 over 85 is minus 30k. I'm trying to work out the k, I'm nearly there. So LN25 over 85 over minus 30 is equal to k looks a bit messy put it into your calculator looks even messier i get k is not point not four zero seven nine three so my equation that i'm going to use therefore theta is equal to 85 e to the minus not point not four O seven nine t and believe it or not i can't believe i'm going to say this i'm now ready to start the question i find the formula i'm going to use and now i can eventually solve in kind of part a and part b here um, so let's take a look then at our next page and we'll see so we want to use this formula here so you can't see it to work out for 10 minutes and 45 minutes and then the formula again kind of backwards really for the 70 and the 53. So A part 1 theta is 85 e to the minus not point not 4079t and I'm subbing in they want it after 10 minutes so theta let's move this up again Give me a bit of a better picture. 85 e to the minus not point not 4079 upon 10. Again, sub that into your calculator. And we get theta is 56.5 degrees. Now, we need to be careful. This is our excess temperature, so they want to know the temperature of the water, so we then need to add on. Therefore, Water temperature is 56.5 plus the 15, which is 71.5 degrees C. For part two, dead straightforward, I'm just going to use the same thing again. Um, we can see that okay, can't we? Yet? Theta is 85E to the minus 0.047. T theta is 85 e to the minus 0 0.0479. This time they want it for 45, and then theta is 13.6 degrees. Um, water temperature then is equal to 13.6 plus 15, and that is of course then 28. Point six degrees C. Uh, part B, we're going to use the formula the other way around, so that's going to involve a wee bit of logs, uh, and we'll see how we get on. So B, part one. Of course, we know theta is eighty five e to the minus not point not four o oh, seven nine four. Our theta in this case is going to be 70 take away 15 which is 55 remember we're working out you know our excess temperature here so 55 equals 85 e to the minus 0 0.0479 t 55 over 85 equals e to the minus i'm quite bored of writing this number 079 t take a natural log of both sides point not four oh 
0.79T. And remember what we did last time, we're going to bring this power down to the front and then the LNE is effectively going to disappear. Um, is that what I have? So I'm going to have LN55 over 85 minus 0 0.0. 4079T because remember so what have we done I've brought that power down to the front but LNE is just 1 so I have that so we're nearly there T divided then into this so LN55 over 85 divided by minus 0 0.0 4079 is T and again put that into your calculator you will get T is 10.7 minutes that's my answer to three significant figures. Same again then for part two, and we are finally done with this. So part two wanted us to know theta is 85e to the minus 0.0479t. I haven't done a T there, but that's okay. Hopefully you spotted that as I was on my way through. That was a T there. And then my theta, I wanted to know for 53. So I do 53 take away 15, which is 38. 38 is 85. E to the minus 0 0.04079. T. 38 over 80. Logs of both sides, natural log of course, 38 over 85. You could use regular log, but it just makes your life slightly tougher. The LN goes very well with the E. over 85 again so what I'm going to do I'm going to bring this part of the front and then the LNE will disappear and that's going to give me then LN 38 over 85 and I'm going to divide that by this number here and it's not point not four oh seven nine that gives me T and again, putting it into my calculator, I'm going to get 19.7 minutes. Again, that is the three significant figures. And we're finally there.